or so. So once your, your three layers of adhesive tape are dry, you should be able to just slide the body tube out. If you can't just slide it easily out, you've probably, you probably had some exposed part of the mold to the adhesive when it was wet and it got stuck. And, you know, it's just going to take some pushing and some pulling and maybe some tearing on just the ends of that adhesive. That's usually where it gets stuck. But you want to remove your mold from the adhesive and just trim those ends. Take a pair of scissors, cut those ends off flush so that they're nice and clean and are going to work well for attaching the nose cone at the top and the engine mount at the bottom. Okay, let's finish our parachute assembly by securing the other end of the shock cord to the top of the body tube. Again, put that loop in the end of the shock cord before you tape it so that when the shock cord gets pulled on, the parachute assembly will stay connected to the body tube, which is what we want. Okay, let's move into the engine mount assembly. The engine mount is where the rocket engine goes, and this is going to be inserted into the bottom of our rockets. There are four pieces for this assembly as you see here. Make sure you gather those together. Uh, we'll go from top to bottom. You see the engine clip. It's got two little tabs on the end that stick out. The engine mount casing and the engine lugs. Assembling this simply requires you to put the engine lugs, engine mount lugs, over the ends of the engine mount casing with the engine clip under them also. So you can see the lugs there. The only thing you need to be careful of is that engine clip. Those tabs on the end, make sure that they're facing inward toward the inside of the engine mount casing, like this. And finally, to secure those engine lugs in place, go ahead and apply some hot glue to the inside and outside edges of the lugs and this will prevent them from sliding off of the engine mount casing at any time. Next we want to do a test assembly and make sure that, that the engine mount fits in the bottom of your body tube. Don't apply any glue yet. Just, just without glue, check to make sure that it's going to fit and that you don't have any problems there uh, so that this will go smoothly. Then we're going to apply some glue to the outside ring around the engine lug on both of them. Pretty much we just want to get those two engine lugs inserted into the bottom of the rocket. We don't have to insert all of that casing as you'll see next. But get that glue on there quickly and then get that in quickly because it starts drying and then it won't fit. After inserting it with the glue, this is what your engine mount will look like a little bit sticking out of the bottom and you can see the tail end of that clip the engine clip sticking out there also okay let's finish with our parachute assembly uh, by inserting it uh, you need to locate the wadding which is the flame resistant tissue paper that comes with the kit that's going to protect our parachute from the engine and the ejection charge go ahead and just crumple that up into a ball and just stuff it in the top of your body tube and it should be you should be able to push it back a couple of inches just enough room in order to get the parachute in the top of the rocket so then you want to just kind of I always roll up my parachute fold it neatly you don't want to stuff it where it's going to be in there tight you want to roll it up and fold it so that it will be able to come in and out of the top of your rocket easily Now that we have our body tube all put together, we want to go ahead and finish our attaching our fins to the bottom of the rocket. The, the Pitsco kit comes in a little booklet that gives some instructions on, on marking where the fins go. Since we have three fins, they're basically 120 degrees apart, uh, but just evenly space them a third of the way around each. And uh, I ap will apply a bead of glue directly to the body tube. Put down plenty of glue and stick that edge of the fin right into the glue. Hold it there for a second while it uh, dries and stiffens up so that it will stay in place. 
and this is what it will look like as you start applying your glue and the fins. And when you're done, you should get something looking something like this. And with that, we have a completed model rocket. We put together the body tube, the parachute assembly, the engine mount, and the fins. Uh, the only last piece that we would actually want to put on our rocket is the launch lug, which helps it slide onto the launch tower. And I didn't do that in this video, but uh, in uh, further videos, I'll explain the launch system, the launch lug, and the launch tower. Uh, if you want more information on assembling model rockets, you can visit my class YouTube channel for my technology exploration class uh, at youtube.com slash tech exploration. And there I have a playlist on rocketry where I've uh, brought in some videos put together by the National Association of Rocketry where they give some more tips and helps on assembling model rockets. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I look forward to putting together more in the future. This is Todd Anderson signing off.